Uh, come on, go on in this coffee. Oh. I want to hear your ideas. Your chit chat? Oh, caffeine. Ideas, hey. Oh, okay, okay. Um, all right, the fine tuning we did on the six o'clock news didn't work, so I no, have. No, not WRCW ideas. This is a production meeting, isn't it? Later. First things first. Our bet. <sighs> well, I've done my part. The ball's in your court. Since when? I was Belle of the Banquet Ball. I primed the pump for you and Brooke. What did I get for it? Nada, nothing. You got a very expensive sculpture and the promise of some very solid stock. Is it my fault that Tad was a no-show? That he had his own hot dates elsewhere? You know, I've done some thinking about last night. And since our bet was who gets whom first, you think you win? Well, I don't think so. I, you know, I've expended time, energy, and imagination. And unless I start seeing some equal effort, I don't want to play anymore. You can't quit just because you're losing. I'm not losing. Oh, shall we review the score? Brooke sees you with me at the um, fundraiser. Tad sees nothing because he's a no-show. Uh, that's Adam one, Liza zip. Liza quits, Adam wins by default. Liza doesn't get any Chandler communication stock. Game's not over. You're back in? I was never out. <laughs> it was the stock, wasn't it? <laughs> no. All right, all right. It's the challenge. Oh, okay. Let, let me uh, make sure I understand this very clearly. The game is going to continue no matter who scores the next point. Correct. Yes. It's a fight to the finish. Better end. Cheer up. You may get another chance at Ted, yes. Oh, you know, <laughs> stop being a cheerleader. Give me a headache. Do you have any aspirin? Uh, yes, upstairs. First door on the right, uh, the medicine chest. Ah, okay. First door on the right. <clears throat> Wait a minute! Ted. What are you doing here? And a hearty good morning to you, too. I realize I'm not a regular at these little party bre power breakfasts, but just so happens today you're in luck. Am I really? Oh, yeah. I got a whole passel full of incredible ideas for the cutting edge. Where's Liza? Liza? Oh, I was looking for an aspirin. I'm not surprised. This hour of the morning, you'd probably give me a headache, too. I don't think I'm the author of this particular headache. No. Would you like to tell me why you raked lies over the coals last night? What's the big deal? We had an argument. It wasn't World War III. I won't have you questioning Liza's authority. It's bad for morale. <laughs> morale? Are you joking? All this from the man who claims that friction makes for good television? You've been at each other's throats for months now. I want it stopped. Why? It upsets Liza. It upsets Liza? You mean you actually care about her feelings? Yes, I actually care about her feelings. I care about her feelings very much. And if you know what's good for you, Is you will stop this pet. Yes, now? And Muppet? Oh, God bless my friend, I'm starving. Oh. Tad. Good morning, everyone. When did you uh, get here? Uh, I didn't know that, uh, that Ted was coming this morning, huh, Eliza. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, 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 really. You, you don't need to be. Uh, he has some brilliant ideas for the cutting edge that he wants to pitch. Really? Well, um, this is so, uh, unexpected. You, you usually don't come to these things. Surprise. Mm. Miss English. Well, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, Junior's Halloween costume. Oh, right. 
You know, Batman to Jamie's Robin, yeah. remember? Right. Right, right. Well, I thought that Junior might enjoy having it here when he gets here. That, that good idea, good thinking. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, Jamie is so excited about Junior's visit. He uh, couldn't be more excited if Martians were landing. That's good. That's good. That's great. So you'll call me as soon as he gets here, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, just as soon as the, the, the plane hits the, 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 the thing, the, the ground. That's great. That's great. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, um, everyone, as you were, I'll show myself out. Liza, it's a bit early, but uh, nice costume. <laughs> walk out with you. I'll talk to you later. Adam. Liza. Naturally, I was upstairs and I was getting the aspirin and I heard Tad walk in. I thought this is the perfect situation. It's a compromising situation. Oh, and I love this bathrobe, by the way. Oh. It, was, it was your idea to be subtle. You don't stage uh, an orgy at the Pinecone Motel. Oh, come on. I mean, th th this, this whetted their appetite. I, this, you want some? Stop that. We, the plan was to take little baby steps, little baby steps, bring it Brooke along inch by inch by inch. You don't, you don't hit her over the head with a sledgehammer. You know, you're almost cute when you're angry. Yeah, well, you blew it. I, oh, oh, contraire. I mean, it worked so beautifully. Tad, he looked, dare I say, jealous. <laughs> he looked jealous. Thanks to my playing the aggrieved admirer before you made your Venus on the half-shell entrance. Oh, Venus, well, I'm honored. I think you should be a little bit more grateful, though. I mean, this situation, it worked, although Brooke did look a little, um, uninterested. She was being polite. Oh, you know, <laughs> I'm actually beginning to enjoy this. No, I've got to catch Brooke. No, 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 you don't. I'm, we're not going through with this. No, we anymore. are going through. Wait, no, wait, no, wait, wait, wait a second. No, no. Wait, 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 wait a second. No. no, it's a ridiculous bet, and it's actually starting to work. No, I'm not going on with this. No, no. no. Adam, what are you afraid to lose? I mean, we're even now. Adam won. Liza won. <laughs> I'm so jazzed. I mean, I I'm tingling all over. I I'm exhilarated. It's like it's like breathing pure oxygen. <laughs> Listen, we're going to have a Halloween party at the shelter, and I thought that Junior and Jamie would like... Tad? Hmm? Are you okay? I haven't <laughs> seen you this pumped since you pulled off the syndication deal with the cutting edge. Oh, I mean, things are falling into place. I mean, did you, did you see the look on Tad's face? I mean, I did it! I did it! I did it! You certainly did. <laughs> Hey. Hmm? I'm fine, yeah. I was just uh, thinking about something else. I'll bet you were. Yeah. So, Batman and Robin, huh? Did that get to you? What? What? What went on in there? No. No, it was just a little awkward, that's all. Didn't bother you at all? No. Bother you? <sighs> no way. It was exhilarating, it was silly, it was juvenile. Ah! I felt like I was back in high school. Ooh, I still have the touch. They've been spending a lot of time together. He is her boss. No, not work time, social time. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Ted was literally Hmm. Speechless. You sound surprised. You sound shocked beyond belief. It's funny, I just sort of thought that Adam was up to his usual game playing. Yeah, anything to make you jealous. But they had no idea I'd be dropping by this morning. Or that I would either. What we saw in there was no game. for the use of your robe. <laughs> Don't be so smug. Thank you.
you. Tonight, we honor Liza Colby and her sizzling performance as the mega mogul's mistress. Banality soars to new heights. Oh, I think my performance left Tad wide-eyed and slack-jawed. Well, it left Brooke bored spitless. Impressions can be deceiving, Adam. Your flouncing down the steps in my robe was a tactical disaster. It's better than you flouncing down the stairs in my robe. Come on, damn it, it's serious. You've wiped out all the progress I made with Brooke. No, I think that I scored a coup for both of us. How do you figure? Well, I, I know that Brooke had a cool exterior, but... Cool? She was positively glacial. That's just because she was trying to keep in check the green-eyed monster from within. I mean, she was acting to cover up her true feelings. Unlike you, Brooke is not practiced in the art of deception. Brooke. It is hardwired into us, like radar for a shoe sale. Adam, be happy. I think the score is now two to one. Your favor, of course. So I have a ratings race at the station that I have to get to, so <laughs> I'll see you later. No, 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 you made this mess. You're gonna get me out of it. I dreamt I was Jonathan's executioner. I tried every method out there. Lethal injection, the gas chamber, Electric chair, even the guillotine. But he wouldn't die. He'd just look at me and laugh. Well, I'd call that a five on the heebie-jeebie scale. I've got a ten for you. Oh, Marion's not going to take another pass on the magic carpet issue. No, no, this is a different dream, but equally as nauseating. I dreamt that all the lies I told Marion came back to haunt me, and there I was with Kinder do... You know. Right in your begonia bed. You know? Oh, don't go there, Janet. Well, at least you only dreamt it. I was married to the monster. What was he? You know. Well, it was best when I could say, not tonight, dear, I have a coma. Could we please get off this ghoulish subject? And you slept with Kinder, too. I was drugged out of my mind. Well, believe me, Erica, with him, that was the only way to fly. Look, that's it. That's enough. I've had it. I have got to think some clean, some happy thoughts. I mean, Dimitri's coming home this afternoon, and he always knows when I'm keeping something from him. Okay. All right. If that's Dimitri, then you scatter. What a, a lovely surprise. I haven't seen you in ages. May I come in? Oh, I would love to play catch up, believe me, but I just have a day that is so jam packed. So why don't I call you next week? Why don't we do lunch at Tosca? I'm afraid this won't wait until next week. It's about Jonathan Kinder. Hello, ladies. Oh, Jack, for heaven's sakes, let's not stand on formality. I mean, we all know one another. Please. Uh, now, in the matter of Jonathan Kinder, I really don't know how much more help I could possibly be to you. I've already answered all your questions. Now it's Janet's turn. Well, I've already told you everything I know about you Kinder. You sure about that? Well, there might be one or two teeny tiny incidents. When exactly was the last time you saw Jonathan Kinder? I'm not sure. You mean you can't remember? I mean that Jonathan has a face I'd rather forget. Well, you think this is a game, okay? You like to play games? I know a game. It's called Take Janet Green Down the, to the Police Station and charge her with hindering a police investigation. You want to play that game? Jack, for heaven's sakes. I mean, I certainly understand how anxious you are to find Jonathan Kinder and bring him to justice, but to implicate Janet? I'm here because we got a call on our anonymous tip line from an eyewitness. Bye-bye.